This video, as well as others of the same series, may include some elements that are not suitable for all viewers. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy, and today we're here with some more Amnesia The Dark Descent. This is episode 16 of the series, and in the last episode, I kind of went maybe too far into the game. I don't think I was supposed to actually be there just yet. Um, but we did find this guy, Agrippa. He's very talkative, and if I go anywhere near him, he, he just keeps talking. Um, so I don't actually want to go near him because I think he just spouts lore for like the entire... I don't know how long he's going to spout lore for. Um, but yeah, so I did kind of look this up where... Okay, I'll let him talk. This is, we're supposed to do this. I've done all that I can to escape this prison. But now, I use all my strength merely to stay alive. Why do you just die? I don't understand. So you're supposed to go up on this thing and imagine this. You're supposed to open this. And now all I can do is regret it. You are very talkative, Agrippa. I'm gonna I'm gonna get get away from you so you don't talk to me anymore. I'm very sorry. I will free you eventually. Um, yeah, so you're supposed to- I, I had no idea there was something there. You had to go over there, fix the gear, and then you go back this way to, um, what's it called? The thing that we were at. The- remember those two levers that they didn't work? The two levers, or whatever you pronounce that, levers, levers, um, that didn't work. We have to go back there. Come on, get up the stairs. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's just stairs. I get it, it's dark, but we're not about to get killed by anything yet. What? I keep hearing even like Daniel's voice, but uh, was there a girl? There was. There's like a girl screaming, but I don't, I don't know if that girl screaming is like something I should know about. All right, get in there and get in there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, boop. And bam. There we go. We got the blue, uh, blue smokies. Or whatever that is, that blue light. That means we did something good. Alright. We go back to Agrippa, I believe. And I think one of those doors is supposed to open up. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. Oh, really? I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. You man. afraid? Are you afraid for your own life, Alexander? You wouldn't happen to be afraid, would you? Uh, oh my god, that terrifying voice moaning of that creature. I don't think I have to go back that way anymore, so I'm just gonna close that off. Hi, Griffa. I did. I knew you could do it. He's so positive in a place like this. Thank you, Grippa. I did. I think I got both of them open? Oh yeah, they did both get open. Hmm, alright. Uh, which way do I go first? Right or left? Hmm, usually I go right first. So maybe we'll yeah okay let's go right let's let's turn that on please and this don't kill me don't kill me now I don't want to be killed oh come on some of these don't light up it's kind of annoying don't kill me don't kill me okay that's an entrance door and this is just a what's in here oh oh it's like a little room in here all right <clears throat> let's close this up because I don't want to be killed. Um, there's probably at least one goodie in here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, some health. Not that I ever... Oh, notes! Good, and more goodies. Um, not that I actually use the health very often. I probably should. I don't normally get attacked, though. Like, I don't need to use it, ever. Okay. We got a note there. That looks like a pretty long note. Let's check the... Let's check the drawers first. There we go. Good stuff. Thank you. And nothing in there. There's only only ever one in there, which kind of is annoying. Ooh, another one of these. Okay. So first we'll look at this one. And if it's too long, I'll, I'll uh, read it later. Agrippa channels Ware. Ware taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such a lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Ware claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. 
If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige. But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of and I have seen their deception. Optimism is the most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Ware told me to feed him a tonic made from paralyzer, vitae, and tamper. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I could find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae can be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamper, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kiernik. I will have to address Ware with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. I did not read that, but it looks like the memento that we wrote down um, should tell us. One note speaks of a mixture made of three ingredients. And Agrippa's dying man. Okay, so three ingredients. We're looking for three. Great. All right, let's get this one. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to find this great order. I have seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same. Age not by time, but by anguish. Okay. So Alexander is actually an immortal person. He's He actually is the immortal baron that they talk about. Okay. All right, let's hope I don't get murdered um, when I come out of this door. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. Let's go in here and finish this, whatever this is. I'll just do this whole side first. I'll do the whole right side first. And then um, if, if it goes a little too long, I'll do the next, the left side in the next episode. So that'll be fine. <clears throat> I got something in my throat. Is it fear that's in my throat? Perhaps. Don't kill me. There's literally nowhere to go. I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck they think I'm gonna do if, if it's in here. Oh good, what's in this room? A little little alchemy, a little alchemy. Great. Give me this. I like that it's lit, at least. I don't have to turn on my lantern and waste all my stuff. What is this? Nothing. After the men had surround uh surred the prisoner, the ritual began. Hmm. I I, I didn't read that one word. Secu secure. That's what that word was. Excuse me, I cannot read. Let's close this up because I have a feeling the fucking monster is going to show up after I read this. Thank you. Ow. Okay. Of August, 1839. Okay, then. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons and its cry disarms my actions. Ugh. Hurry. Oh, bro. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. Bro. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Okay, well... Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Okay. Take the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Oh, jeez. Let it come. Okay. Well, I didn't do it, at least. I guess my past self did it. I didn't do anything. The Bro. Man. Cut the lines. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Uh, please. The man cries. Uh, uh, now you see. Jesus. I did well. One life for another. Uh, you hear that's me? Not how it works. Guardian of the orb. I did all this for you. Now, once more. Withdraw your shadow from oh, my domain. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't open that door. 
I did not open that door. Oh, no. No, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. I didn't open that door. I don't like this. I don't like what's happening. Oh, God. Oh, please. All right. Well, I I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't go anywhere. <sighs> Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Dude, stop it, please. Oh, so they're like petals. Okay. That makes more sense. Oh, fuck. Please don't. Please don't be here. I don't want to be scared. Oh, good. I bet you that guy's still alive. Oh, look, there's another one. Hello, sir. Or madam. I think you're a sir because you're not... You don't have, uh... The, the same... Um... How do I... How do I put this? You don't have the same curves... As a woman. Oh, my God. So, I guess Daniel is actually... A, a murderer? I mean... I would consider him a murderer for killing those people. Oh, fuck me. I'm not moving this. I'm not... I'm not moving your... Okay, now I am. Great! What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. I can't see anything in here. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your um. violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is Listen you up, who bro. brought all this pain and death. Oh fuck! If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered what is it, that? none of this would have happened. It is curious. Where am I right now? With your selfishness, that is killing us. No, it's coming for me. I thought it couldn't come for me while I was fucking doing a flashback. I didn't think that was possible. Oh fuck, it's gonna kill me. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I, I didn't even know I could fucking lose that thing. They are close. There's multiple of them, what? Excuse me? Am I gonna get that flashback back again? I hope not, okay. Maybe I will. All right, hold on, let me see what I can do here. I gotta look this up. All right, so as far as I can tell, there's a door on this side. So I have to go over the bridge and then, oh my God, I, I would get lost in here. The first time I did this, I got really lost, as you can tell. Oh fuck, oh fuck me. Oh shit, what am I supposed to do? It's it's coming after me, bruh. I can't, I can't fucking win. It's gonna kill me. Ah, shit. Okay. Don't run? What is that? What is that supposed to mean? Don't run. Okay, well, I'll just walk then. How's that? Does that work? If I just walk? Is, is walking a better speed for you, monster? You like it when I walk? You like it better when I walk? Okay, well, I'm supposed to- you're supposed to turn right, I believe. And then sort of hug this wall, I guess. Uh, until... Uh, where's the wall? There's the wall. Okay. You're supposed to kind of like hug the wall for a while there. And then eventually there's like a door that you can go to. I'll, I'll get- if I can get to it, I'll, I'll find it. There we go. There, that's the door. I don't know if this is the actual door that I'm supposed to go to. <clears throat> I think it is. Get in there. Now close you. There we go. Okay. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. Ew. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the Great. spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, what? making them fold in between the frame. Ew. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. Can the I not walk up this? Is much more resilient. There we go. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Bam. 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 
I figured out how to turn objects too, like this. You can, um, that's not how you do it. Uh, how, oh, that's not how you do it either. All right, well, get that flashback. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent so the rope secured around his leg stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Yes. What the hell is that? A piece of the orb? Yo, right now. Got that piece of that orb, fam. Okay, there's supposed to be six of these. Am I just supposed to continue walking around in here until I find all of them? Because if so, I'm gonna probably fail. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that there are more pieces in this place. Um, I'm not exactly so sure on how to get them all. Uh, but if I keep trying, I will probably eventually find them. So, uh, I might do like a little montage here of me just finding them and getting myself killed in the process. You wanna fight me, bruh? Where are you? Where are you? You think you're cool, kid? You think you're fucking cool? Whoa, that wasn't the same monster as before. And hopefully, if we just continue to hug the walls, we'll find another door. Aha, yes, another door. What is this? It's soft and is possible to be broken open. Um, okay, do I need an object to break it open, or, or what? Um, what do I, what should I do here? Hold on. Maybe, aha, maybe this? Yeah, there we go. Poison gl gland. Interesting. Alright, and I find that if you just stay quiet in these, uh, these places, and you just walk, the monsters pretty much won't find you. So what what is what is happening here? Oh no! I've I know what this is. The trader did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of the fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh, did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. Okay, something... I, I didn't get the last part of that, but I'm sure you did, because I, I probably read it to you in the future. Um, okay. Oh, jeez. That... That's like... This is probably one of the worst uh, tortures thing that I can think of. Like, oh my god. Wait, wait. There's gotta be an orb somewhere around in here. Right? Am I wrong? Like, there should be. Yeah, there we go. Piece of the orb. Is there any more pieces of the orb in here? I don't think there is. That's fine, though. We're, we're good. Alright. Next up, somewhere else, I guess. It, by process of elimination, it should... All the doors should be on the walls. So, if I just keep hugging the walls, I should... Uh, oh, thanks. I should end up being just fine. I believe this is where we entered from, right? So... All right, so I guess we're supposed to go this way then? I know I shouldn't be running. Should I go? Yeah, there we go. We got another door. Sweet. Is there anything weird here, like poisonous stuff that I should be getting? No, I don't think so. That's good. All right, sweet. Close up. There we go, buddy. Okay. What is in this room? What, what horrible torture method is in this room? Oh, good. One of these things. Yep, 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 yep. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked, and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had been ruptured and begun to leak. Oh, jeez. Okay. I didn't read that whole thing, but, uh, I can imagine what happened to that guy. Thank you. Oh, there's, like, little, uh, little rooms here. Okay. Oh, great. Good for you, bud. Is that another piece? Yeah, boy. How did these pieces get separated like that? Like, I don't understand how they got to all these different places. It's kind of ridiculous. 
any goodies in here? No, I don't think. And I believe after I grab ooh, health, thank you very much. I believe after we grab all of these things, um, there is actually, we are actually done in this space. So don't kill me. Was oh, this the exit? Yes. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Like, I don't understand what was stopping Alexander from just walking into those rooms. You know what I mean? Like, why didn't he just walk in there? Where did those bodies go? Like, why didn't Alexander just go into that dungeon area and then go searching for the, the pieces? Like, why does he not do that? Or maybe... Maybe Alexander... Well, he said he couldn't fix them, right? He couldn't mend them together. Incredible. You oh, hey. I did, didn't I? Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another a world. Door to another it's where world. he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let what? me pass the gate, then. Please. Find the ingredients and pass the tonic via this kind. So he wants. So before you assemble the ore, the barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time, unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore. Hmm. You won't be able to save it. So that's Looks interesting. Like that's acquired. Head for the transom. Yes, I will. I will. I know. I know you have lots of lore for me. Thank you very much. Ow, ow. Okay, we wrote, we wrote down a couple of um, uh, mementos, and let's let's look at these mementos. What are our goals? The remaining orb pieces are found in the transept. Transept? Is this it? Is this that area? Probably. Um, excuse me, I clicked the wrong button. Agrippa is dying man. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get that mixture, and we're gonna get through the doors. Wow, we got okay. So, one piece of the orb. Its texture and color are consistently changing. Hmm. Another piece of the orb. Its texture and color are consistently changing. We got three pieces of the orb. Hmm. Can I fuse them? Nah. They won't stay together. Interesting. Um. Okay, what is this? A bunch of tar. Ah, uh, yeah! We could totally put them together with tar! Yo. This is coming together, man. Alright. Next time, we're gonna be going into this room to get the rest of the orbs and hopefully won't be killed. Somehow, la being killed in there wasn't actually, in the last room, wasn't actually uh, too scary. I don't know why. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, maybe you can give me a like. That always helps me, makes me feel better about myself and everything like that. But uh, yeah, so I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Ah, another episode finished. Uh, uh. Is that good enough for you over there? You think you think this is good enough? This is all nearly half as good as you can be. You will need to get rid of the tutorials if you want to make it better. What are you talking about? You want me to get rid of the tutorials? How am I even supposed to play the game? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm terrible at puzzle games. Have you seen me? Then we will be forced to do it ourselves. No, please. No!